Hey GQ, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and these are my 10 essentials. This isn't playing around, this is like an industrial strength weighted blanket. I think someone gave me one of these for Christmas one year. Now I get everyone else this for Christmas because it's like the best gift I've ever been given. Some people hate it, some people say it feels like suffocating, but to me it's just the best type of suffocation. I love it. Every time I get into a hotel bed, I like get in and I'm like, hmm, something's not right <laughs> because I'm missing this. And it's actually very cumbersome to travel with, so I, I sometimes just have to do without it. Like, I don't know how you'd put this in a little carry-on. Mm. <laughs> I feel so safe right now. This is very important. This is my actual journal. It's kind of scary to have it out in the open here. I'm so terrified of losing my journals. That's like my worst fear. When I was kind of having trouble overcoming lots of the pressure of, of making a sophomore record, I read The Artist's Way and one of the big tenets of The Artist's Way is doing your morning pages. So it's like three pages, longhand stream of consciousness in the morning, like first thing you do when you wake up. I think for me, it's just nice to be able to write something down and not judge it. In the moment, I think that's the whole point of doing the morning pages is just to be like, this is stream of consciousness, what I'm feeling, I'm not gonna judge it too harshly or wonder if it's gonna make any money or be criticized or whatever. There's something really lovely about that. I feel like I've been pretty diligently keeping some sort of journal or diary since I was like 13 years old. And so I just have this like Rolodex of all of my feelings for a long time. And it's nice to kind of look back at issues that I thought were gonna be world ending and be like, ah, oh, that worked out, totally fine. It made me who I am. It kind of just like puts things into perspective, you know? So these are the guts rings. Rings in general are a huge essential for me. I don't go anywhere without these rings. I feel very naked without them. <laughs> if I ever go on vacation or something and get tan, I have like weird tan lines on my hands because I refuse to take my rings off. My producer's wife, Emily, actually made these. She's an incredible jewelry designer. I named the album Guts for many different reasons. I love the word. I think it has so many cool meanings. It means intuition. It means courage. Spilling your guts is just like telling all your secrets to everyone, which I feel like is just very synonymous with songwriting. And it's just a cool four letter word. I think it looks cool. It's very like evocative, I don't know. <laughs> they all are kind of sentimental to me. This one, my producer Dan got for me for Christmas and he's one of my closest friends. And my parents got me this one for my 18th birthday. It's some vintage store and I think it's really special. This one, my makeup artist on High School Musical, I was filming this show and I was really close with her and she helped me through um, a lot. And she got me this ring when we wrapped and it says, write the songs of your heart. And on the inside it says, love Heidi and Dottie June, which is her dog, her little French bulldog. <laughs> Actually left for the Grammys two years ago and I forgot my rings at home and I had to freak out. And luckily someone was still home and I made them go to my house and get the rings and bring them to me because I was convinced that it was gonna be a terrible night if I didn't have my rings, it was some weird thing. <laughs> I was actually TikTok influenced into buying this. There's like a subculture on TikTok that is just so obsessed with the Stanley Cup and what you put in it and the flavored waters and the soda concoctions. And I was like, I need this. This looks like it'll change my life. And it completely did. I've gotten actually so many of the people on my team and so many of my friends on the Stanley grind with me. I did live in Utah for a while and Utah is the land of like specialty craft sodas. This is like what they put the sodas in. So it's like Diet Coke and like coconut creamer and like lemon juice and like all of this fun stuff to like doctor up your sodas. I'm into that. I'm very into that. It's really fun. The next item is Skinny Pop. I consume so much Skinny Pop. I inhale it like oxygen. It is just my favorite snack. There's one open bag of Skinny Pop on my piano at all times, on my desk at all times, and then in the kitchen at all times, open, like just ready for me to consume. I truly, lots of days will eat like this entire, entire thing. Oh, so good. I will bring this into the movie theater because it's so much better than the movie theater popcorn to me. I'll just sneak it into my bag. Oh, well, let's see what other flavors they have. Kettle corn, I've never tried that. Popcorn mini cakes? Wow, there's a whole Skinny Pop cinematic universe I need to try. This is my favorite perfume. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540. It's so good. 
I have a candle of it too that I burned in my house. I never was super into perfume before I smelled this one and I'm like, this, this is the one for me. Cause I don't love like smelling like candy or like flowers or something, but this just smells like sort of like you could maybe possibly just naturally smell this way if you're like an angel or something. It like doesn't smell like any smell that I could place. Lots of people say that like if they'll like smell this scent and I'm like somewhere else, they'll think of me and that's a very high compliment. This is my family <laughs> and they are definitely one of my 10 essentials. I need them for everything. My mom and my dad, I'm an only child. And this is us at Rockefeller Center during Christmas time last year. Yeah, I love my family. I wouldn't be anything without them, I adore them. Going to New York this time was a really fun time. I really love traveling with my parents. I think it's so fun to get to go new places with them. And I saw the Barbie movie the other day with my mom and I was like, wow, it's a transcendent experience. This is my favorite book. I think it's the only book that I've read more than once. It's like the creative person's Bible. I've made so many of my friends read it. I like recommend it to everyone I know. I just think it's so incredible. It's, it's all about like, creativity and, and discipline and the anxieties that come along with creativity and how to remedy those. And it's just, it's amazing. Elizabeth, if you're out there, changed my life with this one, it was so good. I actually read this for the first time while I was making Sour. And I actually don't think that the album would have turned out the way that it did had I not read this book. It was so instrumental in my creative journey. I literally cannot leave the house without it. Not being hyperbolic, I go everywhere with this. I took Accutane for the first time this year. I had bad teenager skin and my lips were so dry all the time. And now I carry this with me everywhere I go because it's just so chapstick, put it on anything, put it on wounds. The opportunities are endless with Aquaphor. <laughs> I feel like all these items, I'm just doing commercials for these brands. These are guitar picks, but I love playing guitar. I love writing songs on guitar. I'm slowly getting better. Took some lessons this year, you know, a few songs. I learned how to play guitar. Like a lot of it was just by myself, like learning songs I really love to play. And when you're just learning how to play, you know, like pop songs in your bedroom, you just kind of like do it intuitively, like with your, like your fingertips. But it always does sound better when you use a pick, but sometimes it's just, you just go back to what you did when you were 15. My producer Dan is always trying to get me to play with a pick because he says it sounds better and I agree with him. So I'm trying, keeping these with me. <laughs> and I think I'm definitely better at piano. I'm more comfortable playing it, which is why I think sometimes it's nice to go out of your comfort zone and play something on an instrument you're not so familiar with. So I've been playing a lot of guitar lately. I wrote Love is Embarrassing on guitar. The song Lacey was written on guitar. There are a lot of guitar based songs on this album. Nice, beautiful finger plucky guitar. And there's also some like really driving, hard hitting, more punky guitar. So I gotta get my practice in before tour. Thanks GQ. These were my 10 essentials. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my new album, Guts, if you haven't already. Bye. <laughs>